Well, my next guest, I think this is, uh, I don't know how many times, many times, but it's never enough when it comes to uh, Tim Harrison and his outreach for animals. We got a lot to talk about. Please welcome Tim Harrison, everybody. How you doing, Tim? Glad to have you back, buddy. Boy, the stuff that's going on. I mean, well, when I called you and uh, I mentioned this because you were just on the last show, I said, "You got if you can, you're not going to be out of the country. Come back because this thing with Cecil the lion is just heartbreaking, and now a zebra and a and a giraffe. What are these people thinking?" Well, I think it's, um, we're getting to a point, we talked about it once before, uh, disrespect for wildlife, there's disrespect for uh, human beings. So yeah. we, don't, we have a lot of problems here in the United States of America where people think that they have to kill something or bring it in their home, as we talk about as pets, control and have that around there. With, with Cecil, we call him Cecil too because he's mm -hmm. South African. You hear him call him right. Cecil here in, in America. But Cecil, I was over there in South Africa. I was over in Zimbabwe, that area is over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's basically... A pet. A pet. You know, they uh, they feed him and they keep him in that game reserve area and people would pull up, he'd come right up to the vehicles so he'd get his picture taken. He's on brochures. He's on all kinds of, not anymore, Yeah. but he was on brochures. And for anybody to think that this was a hunt, I've had hundreds of hunters get in contact with me now because I'm through my organization mm -hmm. and say, Tim, this is disgusting. This is not outdoors. Yeah. I mean, these are not hunters. This is a situation where this cat right here I call it, I'm coining a new phrase right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it on your show. It's okay. not canned hunts anymore. It's petting zoo hunting. Yeah. What I mean is you take a little feed there, the petting zoo, call the deer up, and boom, shoot yeah. it. Yeah. What they did there is take an antelope, a, a, a game animal, put it on the back of a truck, and drug it. And he followed it right out because he thought he was going to get his picture taken, yeah. trusted human beings, mm -hmm. and ended up costing him his life. Yeah, he's a, it was a beautiful animal. Yes, yeah. But as beautiful as he was, what I, I would not, what I want, wanted to do, and you know I couldn't and I shouldn't, just go out and put my arms around me, you good, you good, you good, you good, you good, you can't do No, that. you can't. That's, the thing That's what that. I'd like to do, yeah, but yeah. you know I love animals. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But people kind of, I was on a couple other shows, talk shows and radio yeah. shows and, and across the country, but the thing was is that a lot of people were blaming the guides. Okay, the guides are going to make money. That's mm -hmm. what they're in it for. They're making money. The government. Yeah. Do not let anybody out here ever believe that the government's not got their hand into this. Go oh, yeah. over there, please. If you're thinking they're killing these lions over here and, and taking that money and helping other lions out or they're killing the rhino, remember the last, mm -hmm. they shot a rhino, a guy from Texas went over and That's shot a rhino. That's the promo they're trying to spill right now. And they're saying right this now. money is going for, uh, all that. no, it's not. Because just remember, if you donate money for medicines for children mm -hmm. in Somalia, it never gets to them. Yeah. It gets to the government officials. I've been in over many times. I've been, as you know, working for Homeland Security mm -hmm. also. I know exactly what's going on in these countries. And it's very sad for people to get have this smoke blown up their dresses thinking this is what's going on. Yeah. We don't need to kill a lion. We don't need to kill him unless they're attacking and hurting human right. beings. Right. That's when you have to call them out when there's too many in an area. As you know, uh, a friend of ours just finished a documentary in South Africa called Blood Lions. Mm -hmm. It just came out. Yeah. And it talks about breeding these lions in cages, taking them out into these game parks and turning them loose, and big game hunters paying up to $50,000 to shoot them. Now, most of these animals, most of these animals are usually older. They've been hu uh, imprinted with human beings. They trust you. And some of them even have been declawed. So when you go to the taxidermist and ask them, you know, hey, what do you want? They put the new claws in. Mm -hmm. They put the fake teeth back into them. And they clean their eyes and make them look vicious when mm -hmm. they get them done. So these guys look like big heroes shooting these animals. How do we stop it? The only way to stop it is education. Because mm -hmm. I just had a, a young filmmaker from University of Brisbane came and followed me for a week. Right. We're going to have her on when she comes back in November. And she was just stunned what happens in the United States of America, the mentality, because she originally was born in South Africa. Yeah. Did you know the South Africans don't go hunting lions like this? I've it's the Americans, it. it's Europeans. And the Australians just back off of it because when you go to Australia, you can't even touch the fauna, you can't even touch the plants over there. And they're, they're civilized, let's mm -hmm. say. Uh, there's a respect that we have to get back to because once you disrespect animals, as you remember, I was a police officer yeah. for 28, almost 29 years. If I came into a domestic violence situation, the first thing I do is bring their, the dog into their house. Mm -hmm. And when the, well, whoever the dog flint, French front, uh, you know, went back from, yeah. that was the aggressor. Yeah. And you can tell by the way, whoever hurts or damages an animal is going to definitely damage a family member or somebody else. It's almost guaranteed, and we know that by facts through the FBI. So this individual here, thinking that you're going to pull a lion up, that's like a pet, yeah. you know, coming up like that. 
and then uh, and then shooting it with a, a crossbow of all things yeah. and not killing it and then getting away. Even worse. Three of my best friends are crossbow hunters. They were one of them said I was going to vomit when I heard about this. You can't get a good lung shot. You can't get with a, a lion standing right there. You can't get a lung shot. Can't get a heart shot. He said that was the sickest thing he's ever yeah. heard. You know, you got, it just we need to just educate our children, educate mm -hmm. here in the United States of America. We don't need to do this. And there's plenty of good hunting organizations out there. Remember, Bass Pro Shop helped sponsor me yeah. for 10 years, my equipment and everything else. They still help me at times. And <coughs> they were disgusted. Everybody's disgusted by yeah. this situation. So don't blame the hunters out there. I'm getting tired of people blaming the hunters. It's not the good sportsman hunters. It's the individuals that these massive egos yeah. This want to control, want to disrespect wildlife and become an obnoxious outsider, not com, you know, become a, a part of the environment, but part of, part of I haven't heard any good thing the about these killings of the zebra and the giraffe and, no, and Cecil. No, no. Who needs no, a giraffe? Yeah. You know, Why? it's like I, I got in a little bit of an argument with a, 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 somebody from the media. They said, well, you know, they take the meat from the lion and they give it to the tribesmen. They give it to the native people. Are you out of your mind? Nobody eats a lion. Have you ever <laughs> no. been to Africa? I was asking, when's the last time you've been to Zimbabwe? Well, I've never been there. Well, you have no ability to open your mouth and say anything then because you don't have any information to give to anybody. I'm disgusted by this because it's not the African people. Yeah. They're making money off this because that's what the Americans want. You know, they're going to make the money either way. You're going to make more money off of Cecil by taking pictures of him. That was proven already. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of thousands of dollars from tourism is gone now. Yeah. And his son or brother or whatever it was, Jericho, is still alive. They found him still alive. But guess what? Cecil had cubs, and we all know from our basic biology classes in college that the next male that comes in line and takes over the pride kills those cubs yeah. so it can start all over again. So we have to understand when you bust up that circle of life, you're messing up more than just killing one lion. And maybe we can increase the tourism, make buses taller and bigger so people can just go through these reserves and no guns and just look at these animals, increase that industry more. Oh, absolutely. And the photo industry That's is where you make most it. of your money because you can continue taking pictures right. over and over again. Once you kill it once, it's already done. But I can tell you right now, we don't need to go, as you know, to Africa to see lions. Yeah. We've got one loose in Milwaukee right now I'm helping That's out with. And we've got, how many have I got over the last few years? 216. Wow. You know, that's ridiculous. In the last couple of years, we've had to dart out of people's backyards and move them. So there's tons of lions here, and we have to worry about the canned hunts here we have in the United States. Texas still has them, Oklahoma, Ohio, as my young lady did from yeah. Australia, got that footage yeah. of a canned hunt in Ohio. Yeah. So we, uh, we got our own problems we need to take care of right here in the United States.